Hey, I'm Steven Hayes, and uh, this is my tutorial on how to create a lightsaber in Adobe After Effects. Uh, for time's keeps, uh, sake, we're going to cut this pretty short. Uh, I'm going to give you just a basic outline on how to create a lightsaber. So uh, this is what we're going to create here. It's going to be a little choppy, unfortunately, due to uh, the frame rate. But uh, anyways, you can just go ahead and see this. So there we go. We have Brandon spinning his lightsaber around. Uh, it looks pretty good for a lightsaber. Notice, take note. Um, this is everything I'm going to show you. This that's in this shot. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. So, uh, first thing we want to do is go file and make it a new project. Uh, then we're going to go make a. We're actually going to go and import our file. Uh, bring in. Um, let's see where is it. Uh, let's say with tutorial. And there we go. I've just pre-prepared a clip from uh, my upcoming movie, Peter vs. Brandon 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and we're going to drag it just down into the composition area. And it just automatically creates a new composition, perfectly fit for our uh, for our movie. So you can see what the, the raw footage is just simply Brandon uh, with a red prop spinning it around pretty decent speed. Uh, so really, we don't need any tricks or anything. We just need to rotoscape um, a white solid over top of this and uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer uh, solid and make it pure white okay make comp size and okay notice how um, I'm working in HD so you guys probably won't be doing that so it won't be a, such a big deal for you guys but anyways uh, I'm going to go okay uh, now we can't really see anything right so I'm going to hit this little eye tool down here beside white solid just to uh, turn it off. Uh, I'm going to press the Z key, which is zoom. Um, just going to hold it. And then uh, I'm just going to zoom in nicely so his red uh, saber sits f fits right into the screen. Uh, then I'm going to select my pen tool, which is um, G. Uh, and while making sure I've got the white solid selected, I'm just basically going to trace uh, the outline of his uh, his saber like that and then before I do anything make sure you close it at the end I'm just gonna using the arrow keys touch it up a little so it ooh, fits a bit better into the boundaries of the uh, saber awesome so now we can go ahead and turn it back on clicking the eye again and uh, now I see it I want to make it a little bit thinner there we go. Anyway, so what we're going to do is basically for every keyframe, we have to animate this blade to um, to follow Brandon's prop. And we can't do it by motion tracking, unfortunately, because it doesn't stay solid red the whole time, you see. It kind of transfers over everything else as it blurs out. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go uh, move ahead. Um, actually, what we're going to do first is we're going to hit the M key twice while selecting the white solid. And this just simply brings up the mask paths. Uh, what we're going to want to do is, beside mask path, we're going to want to click the little stopwatch to keyframe it. Uh, then I'm going to move forward a frame, and as you see, it moves. And all I'm going to do is simply drag the uh, drag the white solid over to fit over top of it again. Um, basically, this is just the process of keeping it. Um, it moves it. Watch. See? Like, uh, keyframe. There we go. Awesome. Um, now what, another cool thing you can do is move it ahead about, uh, a few frames at a time. This is going to help speed up your process. You're going to want to, um, bring it down. And you want to follow the, uh, the blur on the saber itself because it's actually pretty accurate on the footage. It's pretty accurate to what you want it to really be. So I'm just going to do that. Make sure you drag it over top of it. And what After Effects will do is uh, it'll actually fill in the rest of the frames for you to its best extent with a uniform motion. So you're going to have to touch it up a little bit, but it's already going to be kind of half done for you. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and touch this up so you can quickly see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to make this perfect because that would take too long. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going to deselect it. 
as we move forward frames, it follows his saber pretty nicely. Uh, so all you gotta do basically is do this continuously for the whole thing. You can, uh, as it gets bigger again, you can just accurately follow where uh, the uh, saber goes, and uh, that pretty is pretty good. Uh, there we go. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip this process because I don't have the time to show it to you all. Uh, but give me a sec. Okay, so I'm uh, finished up here. I'll just show you what I've done. It's basically this. So Brandon just swings his saber. It works perfect. Uh, white solid stays on the entire time as long as you've done it properly. Um, it'll be perfect like this. One thing we want to do though before we are um, finished up here is round the end of his saber off. It gives it a much nicer kind of look to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click my same pen tool. Click in between the two lines to create a new vertex. Uh, then go select the convert vertex tool. Uh, drag this point out. Uh, and then I'm going to hold the G key down and just basically click it. And that basically just makes it a round thing. A round, kind of a nice rounded point between just those two. You're going to want to uh, probably play with the arms here a little bit to uh, make that a more of a gradual roundness. And then there you go, you can see, uh, you can't really see too well uh, if I bump up my... There you go, you see it's a bit quite nice. Um, uh, basically, so the one problem with doing this is you're going to have to redo it for every single keyframe that you've made previously. So uh, if I show you just like this, you see every frame it goes. Uh, when you do, um, when it starts moving quickly, you want to make the the uh, motion a little more gradual, uh, a little less like the, the sorry, not the motion, the, uh, the curve a little less incremental because you're not really mimicking the end of the saber anymore, you're mimicking the uh, rotation of the blur that is going on and uh, but otherwise that's pretty much it we're ready to move on uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, finish this all up okay so I'm uh, I'm done uh, again you can't really see too much from this angle but you'll see what I'm talking about soon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go layer and I'm gonna create a new solid and make it a fully black solid. And go OK. And make comp size and OK. Uh, so now I'm going to make sure this black solid is on the very bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new composition. All the same settings. OK. Uh, anyway, so we've got that made. Uh, I'm just going to bring my, uh, my footage into this layer. Right onto it nicely. It fits perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to go back to my uh, composition here. I'm going to delete the footage layer. So all we have left is this white solid. And I'm going to click it and uh, Control D, which is duplicate. I want to duplicate it mm, four times. Uh, then I'm going to hit MM on the first layer. It brings up the mask uh, settings again. And I'm going to go click the mask feather and set it to one. It's already at one because uh, that's what I chose, but as my default. But we're going to go ahead and uh, edit the other layers. You want to have it at one just to take off the sharpness on the center core. So I'm going to go to the second layer, MM set this to hmm, I'm gonna have to say f five uh, and then uh, third layer I'm gonna make 30 and then 60 and uh, you try to keep it on a, an incremental value scale so double it each time uh, just helps out a little bit I'm gonna make this one also not five but ten Awesome. So now we got a pretty good looking saber core. Uh, I'm going to go into my, uh, just my footage comp, and I'm going to bring in uh, my first, the, just the saber core comp, and I'm going to drop it on top. Uh, now all we got to do is set this uh, blend mode, which by the way you can access by clicking the second one down here. Uh, going to go to uh, screen. Now we have basically his lightsaber on top of the whole thing, uh, but it's still white. So what we need to do is um, edit it to turn it the color we want. In this case, I want it blue. So I'm going to go Effect, Color Correction, Color Balance. And I'm going to check Preserve Luminosity just to keep it looking like a light. And then I'm going to just uh, up the highlights of the blue to 100 and the midtones to 100. 
Now it's too sharp blue for me. So I'm going to uh, up my cyan a little. So basically up the greens. I'm going to put like, let's say 20 and 15. Mm, let's just go 20 and 20. And now this gives us a much nicer blue color. Uh, Ryan Weber uses this color. Uh, I think it's almost the exact settings. But um, he uses this because it looks nice. Uh, so as you can see, we're done. Alright, thanks for watching.